My name is Jeff Griffiths. I work at a company called Fission. Fission.codes is the URL because we have cool TLDs now. Um, and uh, I'm super excited for Fission to be part of Browser 3000 Hackathon. I've known Dietrich for a long time and I think IPFS is cool. So what is Fission? Well, Fission today, um, what we've done is we've got a CLI and we've got a CLI driven web publishing uh, platform on IPFS. So when you build a web app, you publish it to Fission system, it gets propagated out into IPFS. You can check out the SIDs and see the content addressing all work. And we also gateway that to the web. And uh, we also have a decentralized authentication system that's passwordless. I'll show that in a bit, hopefully it works. And uh, we have a simple secure in-browser storage by what we call the web native file system. Um, I'm gonna show a stack diagram of how all this works or will work in the future. And so you can see the orange block is your application. Um, we've got some platform abstractions there, which is our web native SDK. And we have some blocks in there that aren't built yet, like collaboration chat and instant sync. Um, and in the middle, we have this durable structured store, which is a uh, web native database, which is something that's on a roadmap they're really excited to see. But beneath it all is this durable file store, which is the web native file system. And so in the browser as a web developer, you're just writing JavaScript and fetching files from this thing. And uh, it gets synced out from the browser and, uh, and published onto IPFS. And there's two sides to that, which is a really important part of this. One side is public, it's on public on the web and anybody can go to it. And there's a private side where we use our distributed identification system, our DID system, and uh, you sign up for an account and we encrypt your private data for you and then publish it encrypted at rest to IPFS, which is super cool because it builds privacy into the basic layer of the system. And so on this identity side, we have password login, I said that, and decentralized auth. You get a personal subdomain and we carry private keys in the browser using the web crypto APIs. Um, we're end-to-end -end encrypted. We have versioning. So it's like a, think of it as like Git in the browser for storage of personal data. And, you know, you get these permanent archive links with IPFS of every known state of your, your the previous state of your data. And this, because it leverages IPFS, it automatically syncs between devices. The building blocks of all this, IPFS, of course, uh, a bunch of pretty cool browser APIs that we now have in browsers that seem like a, uh, would, be, would have been impossible 10 years ago. Um, but a ton of people have put a ton of work in the web platform in the last 10 years. And, and we're really building on the shoulders of those, those giant uh, um, features that have been added to web browsers in, in Chrome and Firefox and, and, and Brave, et cetera. Um, we use decentralized identifiers and we're working actively with partners like Microsoft to uh, standardize some of these things and also uh, people in sort of the blockchain world around how DIDs should work. Uh, we have a de decentralized authentication specification called UCAN. We have our web native file system. And um, one thing I'm really excited about, uh, getting our system to look a little bit more like a traditional uh, web to uh, app system, having a, a more database uh, abstraction on top of the data. So how does Fission use IPFS? Well, IPFS content addressing is extremely important to us. Uh, everything needs to be portable. And so we've just built this web native API again. And so everything's synced around to different uh, browsers that are logged into the uh, Fission system. And uh, the data um, goes from browser to IPFS infrastructure. Uh, the IPFS sort of uh, constellation system, and then back into a browser when you log into a different browser again. So, um, so getting started with Vision, it's pretty easy. We're going to try it today live here. Um, so what we need to do is install the CLI, create and link your Vision account, and create and publish an app. So I've cheated a little bit. Um, I've already installed Vision. That's not going to work for that. And um, it's got help stuff. And so the first thing we need to do is run Fission Setup. And so it downloads 
managed IPFS for Mac OS and asked me if I have an existing account, I'm gonna say no. Here's the real danger, folks. That's my username that's definitely unique because you can't test the thing that when you create a thing. And so we collect an email and we do an email verification and we're not gonna sell that to anybody. That's primarily for account recovery purposes. And we're done. So we've set up the phishing account. And what we can do now is we can run phishing login and we can switch to safari here and sign in with that same username and link the browser and see those numbers there we switch back those are the same numbers one zero two five three five and so we verify that and it's second factor and we grant access and we log in on the other device and that is successful. So that was super easy, right? And it actually, it worked. Uh, thank the demo gods. And then I'm sitting here in a demo directory and you'll notice when I list this directory, it has a fission.yaml file. We are going to uh, tempt the demo gods again and just remove that. And we're going to run and I'm sorry for the amount of text that this is going to punch uh, into your terminal into your screen here through the terminal. I'm doing it in verbose mode just so I can show you kind of under the hood how this works. We have like a local version of go IPFS that we run and we try to connect to. And so it takes a little while to check and make sure that that's running. And normally what you would see if you didn't do dash V is just like a little spinning clock, but uh, this is much more matrix D. Uh, just to check how old I actually am. I remember the matrix. And some stuff is starting to happen. Usually takes just about 20, 30 seconds. And it's registering the app using the Go IPFS proxy it's asking me which build director I want. And so if I run npm run build, I'm good. And then if I run again, apologies for the sheer amount of text that's gonna go whizzing by. We're gonna publish this to the web on a new brand new uh, domain which uh, we, we do auto generate these domains. So this app is called Skinny Petite Round Gnome, which is uh, interesting. We have like some sort of Markov chain-esque uh, URL generator that somebody wrote last year that's very clever. And so it's sort of doing the same dance of getting the uh, CLI working and uh, running with Go IFFS here. And then fingers crossed, Oh, we're starting to see some stuff starting to happen. And we're connecting to the IPFS network, publishing remote, and we're done. So if we run, copy this thing here, and we switch back to Safari, on the right URL, it's hello world. And that worked, the demo gods were generous, um, probably because I've been praying to them a lot. So next steps for phishing uh, for this hackathon. Um, so we've got the phishing guide, I've got a URL here. Um, what you would do with this app next is you would uh, hook it up with the Fission authentication system so that someone who comes to your app can sign up for a Fission distributed ID account and use your app and store their data for themselves in their browser and IPFS without you having to run storage or an AWS account or anything like that. Um, and everything gets stored in web native on behalf of the user. It, it gets encrypted at rest 
And then, uh, and you don't have to run a database with a million users in it, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, what's next for the hackathon? We've got fabulous prizes. We've got a sticker sheet, we've got uh, t-shirts and um, they look pretty cool. And so best use of fission, uh, we're actually gonna ship someone one liter of maple syrup. Uh, fission is a distributed company, it's located around the world, but there is a bunch of Canadians and we like maple syrup, um, plus a t-shirt and a sticker sheet. Runner up for best use of fission web native, uh, t-shirt plus sticker sheet. And honorable mentions, you get is it sticker sheets. Um, that's a link to the, the swag shop that we have, but this will be for the winners, uh, shipped free of charge worldwide. And uh, come talk to us. During the Browsers 3000 uh, hackathon, we've got a hashtag Browsers 3000 channel on our Discord server. Just go to fission.code slash Discord. It'll get you to the right part. Tell us what you're trying to build. Talk to us. We're going to be manning that channel. Uh, we use Discord for our main communications anyway, so we'll always be there. And thank you very much.